What's up everybody, my name is Nick, welcome to the channel. If you've been around the channel for a little while, you'll know that we use a lot of DeWalt tools. We use a lot of DeWalt FlexVolt batteries. Well in today's video, I'm gonna show you why maybe you should think twice about using this DeWalt FlexVolt battery in a DeWalt 20 volt max tool. And it's coming right up. DeWalt's new line of FlexVolt tools, 60 volt max, 120 volt max. Put two of these FlexVolt batteries together, you got 120 volt max. One alone can go from 20 volts to 60 volts. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome technology that takes a normally what would be corded power and turns it into cordless. I think FlexVolt is a great idea, number one. Now these FlexVolt batteries come in three different sizes. You got six amp hours, you've got your nine amp hour, and you have your big boy, your 12 amp hour. This is from the DeWalt website. Flexful batteries, power 20 volt max tools. Switch tools, not your battery. Flexful batteries work with our 20 volt max tools and our most powerful cordless tools. They automatically switch voltage when you change tools. Get the power of a corded tool in 60 volt max and 120 volt max tools and increased runtime in 20 volt max tools. Now this is what I wanna focus on today. They are marketing these to be backwards compatible with their 20 volt max line of tools. Tools like, I don't know, the DeWalt 887 impact driver. Flexible. Tools like the reciprocating saw. Thirty-one point forty-five. I gotta tell you, I don't know what it is. Very consistent time through the pressure treated. What's wrong? Flex bolt. Smash the like button and show that support. What's going on here? Flex, 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 flex bolt. Change the battery. Disconnect it and put it back on. I, I have no no doubt it will come back. But I... hmm. flex bolt. So as you can see, reciprocating saw. Done. Had a flex hole battery on it, was the last cut it made. DeWalt, 887, 20 volt max impact driver. Done, multiple times, multiple times, ran with a flex volt battery. So for the six amp hour flex volt battery, they are touting up to four times the runtime when used with 20 volt max tools. Another statement. Use these on your 20 volt max tools. On the nine amp hour, up to six times the runtime when used on 20 volt max tools. This is from the DeWalt website. And the 12 amp hour battery. It says optimized for use with DeWalt tools designed for high power applications. Let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think about FlexVolt? Could it be hurting the 20 volt max tools? Are they overloading the tools? Let me know down in the comments section below. All you electrical engineers, let me know what is going on here. And I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. The reason I made this video is just, it's kind of like a warning. I don't want you to spend more money on tools than you, than you already have to. If you keep burning out the wall tools using flexible batteries, like we have, this is the reason I made this video. Never burn up another DeWalt tool. Use a standard XR 20 volt max battery on your 20 volt max tools. From one person to another who's lost multiple DeWalt tools, I hope this video helps. I look forward to reading your comments down in the comment section below. And um, thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Hopefully this helped. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.